POLICE CONTINUE TO LOOK FOR A MAN WHO ROBBED A MALL BANK YESTERDAY. AND OUR LEAD STORY THIS MORNING, SIOUX CITY, IOWA POLICE ARE SEARCHING FOR A MAN ACCUSED OF MURDERING SEVEN PEOPLE. GOOD MORNING, EVERYONE. I'M MEGAN DORSH. BRIAN IS ON ASSIGNMENT IN SIOUX CITY. THIS IS DAKOTA FIRST NEWS TODAY. LIVE NEWS, UNEQUAL LOCAL NEWS COVERAGE, ALL THE LATEST STORIES. YOU'RE WATCHING KSFY'S DAKOTA FIRST NEWS TODAY. And good morning. It's been described as one of the worst homicides Sioux City has ever seen. Police say they are close to catching a suspect accused of killing seven people. 23-year-old Adam Moss is wanted for questioning. Moss is described as a 23-year-old white male, 5'9", 170 pounds with brown hair and brown eyes. Now, police say that the, he knew all of the victims involved. KSFY's Brian Allen is live in Sioux City this morning. Now, Brian, this story is making headlines not only in our region, but across the nation this morning. Oh, it is in a major way, Megan. Good morning. We are right outside of the Sioux City Police Department where all the activity is taking place. Let uh, photojournalist Lonnie Nichols show you here just how much media attention this story is getting. We have stations here from Des Moines, Iowa, Omaha, Nebraska. CNN is in town covering this story, this tragic story, as you mentioned. The police chief says this is the worst homicide case he's ever seen. Seven people dead in two separate incidents. This is what greeted Sioux City residents this morning in the local newspapers. Seven slain. This is the story getting all the national attention right now. The search for a suspect is on. Police discovered all seven bodies just before 7 o'clock last night. In this house on Sioux City's west side, the bodies of a woman and her five children. The kids range in age from 5 to 12. Police remain on the scene this morning. At this home on the city's affluent north side, the body of businessman Ron Fish was also found. Police at this moment are searching for 23-year-old Adam Moss. Right now, he's charged with stealing a car from Fish's residence. That car was found outside the home where the six other bodies were discovered. Autopsies are being conducted this morning. I'll tell you this. Uh, th this is one of the most heinous, brutal uh, homicides that I've probably ever witnessed. Police are searching the area immediately west of the Sioux City downtown area, street by street, house by house, looking for the man who police say may have information about the murders. Police say Moss is a strong suspect. Residents in the area have spent much of this morning locked in their homes, peering out their windows. Unnerving. It's really unnerving. Uh, it's usually a really quiet neighborhood, you know, except for speeders going up and down the street. But now, you know, you've got to homicide right behind my house and some crazy kid out at large still and you know he's still being seen in the west side and it's a little unnerving I Iowa. I'm going to step out of the shot here and show you Sioux City, Iowa Police Chief Joe Frisbee. Been doing interview after interview after interview this morning with TV stations. And again, we mentioned CNN covering this case right now. And in fact, Chief Frisbee will be holding a news conference right at the top of the hour at 12 noon. And of course, we will bring you live continuing coverage. We will carry that news conference live. Once again, the search for a suspect is on. The suspect still at large at this time. In Sioux City with photojournalist Lonnie Nichols and engineer Derek Yeager, Brian Allen, Dakota First News. Megan. All right, thanks, Brian. We'll check in.